Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski, and I usually play Pokemon fan-made games, aka Poke MMO, maybe Pokemon Tower Defense, or other sorts of stuff. Um, and today, I'm actually going to be ranking all of the new Gen 9 Pokemon. All of them, not just the ones that were leaked or spoiled, but all of the ones that are currently out in the game. Now, obviously, this is if you know if you haven't played the game yet, this is going to be kind of spoilers, right? So if you don't want to see them, go ahead and click off now. But I'm going to be showing you guys all of the new gen 9 pokemon i'm going to start scrolling now so once again click off if you don't want to see them here we go here's all of the gen 9 pokemon including all of the new like iron uh sort of metal variations the future variations of things like dawn fan volcarona hariyama hydragon tyranitar delibird etc and then like the glade gardevoir sort of combination so let's go ahead and get into it now i am just going to be ranking these guys based off of visuals and sort of design and my personal preferences this is not a competitive tier list how i think they're going to perform uh via in pvm or in the storyline versus pvp or anything of the sorts i'm not playing these games i'm not even going to be playing scarlet and violet now that they're bad games they seem really cool i actually think a lot of these new Pokemon, this is a hot take. I think these are some of the best new Pokemon we have seen since like Gen 1 or Gen 5. I'm a huge fan of them. So we're going to see a lot of highly ranked Pokemon here. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, the three new tier Tauruses. I think the, you know, blanket, dark, black Taurus is going to go straight B tier. The one with the red little dashes on him, straight to A tier. And then this one, unfortunately, I don't know why this one falls so much farther down for me. Um, I do like, I guess, his tail formation a little. It's kind of cool, but the blue, the blue streaks and like it being like under his head versus the red streaks above his head. I don't know why it's such a huge difference for me, but I'm going to put him in actual D tier. He might be moved up to C tier. We'll see. Now, the Whoopy Boy, the new Whooper, I think is okay. I'm much more of a Quagsire Boy. Let's actually go ahead and find the new Whooper evolution because he is s tier the new whooper evolution is a very good boy very nice guy you can tell based on his little eyes and big smile he's an s tier pick absolutely now sprigatito the weed cat whatever you want to call it i'm going to put it in d tier not a huge fan of it honestly the whole line i maybe the final evo in c it's i could see one of these being in c but we're gonna leave them all in d tier for now not a fan personally now for coco probably gonna put him in Let's do him in B. Let's do his little guy in C. Maybe even D. This guy's kind of goofy. Kind of goofy, but I kind of like it. But a little too goofy in the, in the not best way. Now, his final evolution. I think in B tier as well. I don't... Ah, uh, it's close. We'll put him in B tier for now. I might move around. Quaxley. Quaxley's going in C. The middle evolution. I'm going to go ahead and put in D, I think, unfortunately. And then his final evolution... I think in C as well. Pretty brutal tier list. I know I, I do love a lot of these Pokemon. Now, LeChonk, come on. We're, we're a LeChonk family here, a LeChonk channel here. S tier. And I think this evolution, Lay Thick, I don't know what it's actually called. I think it's like, it's, it's something like Oinkatarnalon or something insane. I feel like all these new Pokemon have the craziest, memeiest names, which I am not opposed to by any means. We're going to put that in S tier as well. Which one? Should we put both in S tier? Ooh. Both in S tier. Both in S tier for now. Maybe we'll change it later on. The Dunsparce. I really like Dunsparce. Underrated Pokemon. Interesting movesets. Can go like Amnesia plus Curse and be like a really annoying menace. Uh, Amnesia, Curse, Rest, and like Body Slam and we have to avoid Ghost types. I don't know if it can get Strappy or not. But it has Serene Grace, which is super annoying. Um, I think I have to go C. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it above D, even though honestly it probably deserves D. Because it's literally just adding an extra body segment to Dunsparce. But the fact that they were bold enough, honestly, we'll put it in C. The fact that the Pokemon company was bold enough to release a Pokemon named Da Dunsparce and simply add a body segment, we got to put it there. We got to go a little bit faster. I don't know this guy very well, but this spider guy, this guy's pretty cool. I think he might be B. Uh, his little pre evolution, though, we're going to probably put in C. He might actually, yeah, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable moving him to A. Let's flush out the A tier a little bit more. This guy's a little hard to see, but I feel like I'm not a huge fan. We'll put him in C and then this guy in B. Um, this guy <clears throat> is like whatever. The pre-evolution, I think he's like C, maybe even B. This guy though, I think he's A. This guy's really cool. The Dung Beetle that has like this sort of ball, this orb that he's super crafting. So we have this little ancient ghost pup. I know a lot of people like this guy. I like the kind of dog that he is. I don't know how I feel about the mouth. I don't know how I feel about the, the feet. Um, he could be a lot better in my opinion. I'm going to put him in B tier and then his evolution actually in C tier. Unfortunately, he drops down a bit for me. Um, this bird type, I'm also not a huge fan of it, I feel like I feel, I feel mean. I feel like I'm rating a lot of these Pokemon very low, but I actually really like this generation. Um, this guy is 
these guys are D tier, in my opinion. Um, the Giraffe Rig Evolution. This one hurts, because I'm actually a huge fan of Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig is a really cool Pokemon with a really cool moveset with a really cool typing. Giraffe Rig is Psychic Normal. A lot of people want to throw Shadow Balls at it, seeing, thinking that it's super effective, but it ends up being immune, because it's obviously a normal type as well. Very, very interesting Pokemon. Um, has a really cool move pool, Calm Mind, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Psychic. Like You can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. Hyper Voice if you want double coverage. Um, I, I'm not a C tier. I'm not a, maybe even D. I'm not a huge fan of it. I really, really wanted to like it. I really, really want to. Um, I really like Giraffe, but I'm not a huge fan. Wiglet! Straight to S. Straight to S tier. One Trio? Not as good. We'll give it like uh, A tier. A tier. This guy, his name is like Daz Dondo or something. Straight to S for me personally. Um, this like Sharpedo, Bastillon type guy. Uh, I think I'm going to put him in like... I like the purple fins a lot. I feel like he goes B or C. We'll crock, we'll crock it up to B. The dolphin guys. Okay, I'm being a little too harsh. We'll put them, we'll put them in C. Um, I don't like the Superman. So there was actually a really cool reference that someone mentioned or someone talked about. I think there's some other Pokemon YouTuber talking about how like this dolphin guy evolves at level 38, and it's supposed to be a reference to like the first Superman comic, which was released in 1938 or something of the sort. Um, so that's like their whole like it's a Superman baseline out of dolphin evolves and like superhero. Type. It's it's kind of neat. Um, not a, I don't know, not for me, uh, small live S tier. And I coming from someone who, if you're familiar with my channel, familiar with my, with my brand, you know, I hate olives. I talk about it all the time. Olives are a terrible food. Small live incredible Pokemon. Despite all odds, small live actually like stands up. It's pretty insane. Um, the middle evolution, I actually am a huge fan of, and I think the final evolution, I think I also put an S I'm, I'm really, really shocked. They might all be an S I'm really, really shocked by the small live line. I, I truly, truly was shocked by this one. Um, everything, not everything can be S. Let's do this. Small of S tier, the middle guy B tier, and then the final evolution A tier. We'll rock it with that. This guy is kind of nice. I like this guy. B tier for him for sure. This guy, S tier. This is a very, very cool Pokemon. This is, I believe, the first fire grass Pokemon we have ever seen. And they did it in an incredibly flavorful, you know, including the pun, uh, very, very cool way. So he is based on Capsaicin or the Scoville Scale. His his name is like Sco something. Um, but he's essentially he's like spiciness. Like that's his meme. Like that's like the, the Scoville Scale is how they measure spice, right? And he's like, Capsaicin is like the, the chemical that makes things feel spicy or some sort of, there's some sort of thing. I mean, I'm not a scientist, I'm a Pokemon player, but... I think it's very, very cool. The way I think he looks awesome. Very, very cool lore. A very, very cool guy. Little tadpole guy. I, I really like tadpoles. I really like frogs. I think we've seen a lot of them. Um, I'm gonna give him C tier. He is a pretty good one though. <sighs> Honestly, B tier. He might. I could look at him for a couple hours. Maybe move him up. Uh, the frog guy. A tier. I, I got frog favoritism. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the the, the vroom vroom engine guys the 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 small one's going to be c tier but the big one we'll put in solid b tier maybe even move up to a tier orthworm that's right this guy's name is orthworm not just earthworm but orthworm we're going to go ahead and move him up to a tier super solid now the mouse line i really like the mouse line um i don't know how i feel about the the fact that they just gain guys upon evolution i kind of wish i kind of wish it was just one pokemon i don't know why it's like this or i don't know if it's an evolution line or how this works yet i'm not playing the game right so i don't know uh let's go ahead and move maybe i should just place one of them on the chart let's go ahead and move them all to a tier i like them maybe b tier maybe yeah, let's go b they're all they're all in b we'll move them to b respectively um this guy I actually really, 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 really like this big spiky guy. Uh, he's going straight to A tier. Maybe might move up to S. He might be. I like this big monster type guy. Okay. Now this dragon. This guy's dragon ice type, I believe. I, th I think someone talked about that. His first evolution. This is like my first time seeing a lot of these Pokemon as well. The first evolutions and such. This is very cool to me. I don't know why I like this so much. That's going A tier. The middle evolution. I think D tier. I, I don't care for it. Um, this guy, B tier. I think the Prevo, the first evolution on this, on this, on that line, definitely my favorite. Now, the Goldfish line. I absolutely love, why does he remind me of just, he reminds me of Big Fish Games. Like this old, like Windows XP, Windows sort of video game store, I, I storefront. I love it. Um, the pink one and the orange one, the pink one's going to go B tier. I don't like the color of pink they chose. I think it could have been 
brighter. Uh, the orange guy will go A tier, but S tier for like the yellow gold one. I'm not a huge yellow fan. Uh, this guy, very, very cool. Looks kind of not great in this picture, but he has like this sort of frog-like. He's very toxic croak-like where he has that sort of reverberating throat. Let's go ahead and uh, we got Palmy, the whole Palmy line. This is, this is going to kill my channel. I'm going to be honest. Let's go ahead and put him in, um, I guess B tier. I think he's overrated is the issue. I like that he's, I like that he's chonky. I like that he's round as a nice round boy, very circular. I do like that. Um, I think the whole line goes in B tier. I think, yeah, I think that's the play. I think they're all pretty similar. Um, they all have positives and benefits here. I wish Palmy was a little more interesting, even though I, I like that he's round, a chonky boy. I, I wish, I wish this guy was a darker color. I wish he was, I wish the third guy was bigger. I don't like the poofy hair that much. I think I don't like the poofy collar. The poofy hair is fine. A little too much. Poofy collar is way too much. Now, Onto this. Okay, this bird looks kind of fucking dopey. Honestly, we'll at least put him in B. This guy uh, don't care for D tier. Uh, this guy don't care for D tier. This guy I, I don't like birds. I don't I don't like them. Get him out of here. Flamingo D tier. The crab guy. C tier. Ah, B tier. C tier. B tier. B tier for the cracked eyes. Uh, these guys. Okay, the lower evolutions of these suck. I'm not gonna lie. This guy's solid B tier. Big colossal. Quartz block looking for Minecraft guy. Okay, now we've got this weird. I don't like this. I don't care. The weird open guy. I know he like has some sort of thing where he like opens up like a jellyfish type thing. Um, not interested. This guy's kind of cracked. We like cracked eyes around here on this channel. Um, this guy's gonna go C tier, and then this guy is gonna go. I think B tier. A tier. B tier. A tier. B tier. B tier. I like him. He's very cracked. The graffiti, graffiti themed Pokemon. So he's all about dripping paint. Honestly. He's always frothing paint from the mouth. That's an A tier on this channel, for sure. We've got Fido. D tier. We got his evolution. D tier. We got this guy. I don't even know who this is. He's kind of cute. C tier. This guy, though, he is mature. He's wise. This is the kind of dog you visit in a video game for advice on a quest. A tier. The Tumbleweed Pokemon. I really like this. This guy reminds me a lot of Pumpkaboo and Chandelure. Those are like kind of the, kind of the vibe I get from the Tumbleweed guy, and I like those Pokemon. Pumpkaboo is a pretty underrated Pokemon in my opinion. I actually don't like its final evolution, like Goltergeist or whatever it is. Um, but I like I like the Tumbleweed Pokemon. I'm gonna go ahead and move this one to B. I actually think he might be better than the f the final evolution. Him and A, and then him and B. That's what we're rocking with. Um, this little toy chest guy. I haven't seen him. I can't really see him up close. He looks a lot like Claptrap to me from Borderlands. Uh, this guy is really good. I feel like I'm under underestimating like this like bug type guy. He could get... He's A tier. Honestly, he's got a good design. This golden guy? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Straight to S tier. This guy is hilarious. This doesn't even look like a Pokemon. This looks like one of those inflatable car salesman blimp advertisements. How is he a Pokemon? He's insane. I love it. Old Dawn fan. Straight to A tier. Really, really good. I love the purple and pink accents they gave him. Great colors. Um, Amoongus. The new Amoongus. I think he's getting a little too much hate. I think he's a little funny. A little interesting. Um, I don't know if I like him or the traditional Amoongus more. I'm not sure. I, it's fine. The new Magneton. I don't like. I don't like the new Magneton. The new Jigglypuff. I do like a decent amount. Um, A tier. You know what? A tier. Uh... Miss, the new Misdrevious, I'm not a huge Misdrevious fan, like, at all. Um, I think it's a pretty boring Pokemon in general. Um, same with this Magius, I just don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't like this line. Um, I feel like I should be putting it in C, because I think this is actually a pretty cool design for Misdrevious, but I just don't like the Pokemon. Straight to D. Uh, Volcarona, this one's bad. I'll be honest, I do not like this one one bit. However... Let's go ahead and judge the Iron Volcarona while we're at it, because this thing is fucking S tier. This is the best Iron Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, by far. It's not even close. Like, these pyramid diagonal sharp wings that it has in that formation, are you kidding me? Incredibly cool. Incredibly aesthetic. Beautiful. Now, the new Salamance is also extremely cool. And the way that it lands and the way that it roosts in, like, it, uh, yeah, it stands is incredibly cool. Uh, new Dawn fan, dude, is also so cool. Um, I think it might be S tier for me. It's either S or A. Could be moved. We'll see. The new Hariyama. This one is one that I I think is really interesting and getting a lot of too much hate. 
Um, I actually really like the cone head. I really like the um, the the palms and the hand shape. I think it's interesting. I wish it, I wish it could have been a little better. Um, but it's pretty cool in my opinion. The new high dragon, terrible. I, I don't like it. I think it's uninteresting. I think the the sharp iron metal edges on the wings don't make it look good. It makes it look like frail and cringe and weak. Um, not a fan. The new Iron Tyranitar, I also think is not great, man. Um, should it be like the same tier with Hariyama? I wish this Tyranitar had more stuff going on on its back. This Tyranitar just looks so smooth and like straight up. And it looks like he's like T-posing and has, he's like confused. Like he has no idea where he's at. He doesn't look menacing. He doesn't, he looks like cool, but he doesn't look confident. He's like a weak, smooth little boy. I don't know why it bothers me. Um, yeah, C tier. New Delibird. I think Delibird's an underrated Pokemon. We'll put him A tier. Sure. The new Gardevoir thing? Nope. D tier. Don't care. Who, who cares, right? Um, this guy, the new legendary with the he's like Earth's weird guy something. Um, he's fine. B or C. I think I'm gonna move T Tar up to B, actually, and move Yeah, he's C. Okay, there we go. We'll do that. Um, the new Sabretooth guy. Pretty cool. Actually a pretty cool Pokemon um b tier this like wormwood type like ancient wise oh s tier incredible incredible aesthetics um little fish guy little fish guy gets a tier flame fish guy a tier now on to some of the legendaries and such we have the we have these two legendaries now this is going to be and we have their battle forms and then their ride forms i believe is the way that they're distinct so i think most people agree on this I think that the red guy's Scarlet's battle form is better than Violet's, but I think Violet's ride form is better than Scarlet's ride. I think that's like, I think that's like a general consensus that the community seems to have, which I think is honestly pretty fair. Um, I think it's a pretty good consensus. I think this guy's A, maybe even S. Um, and I'm a I'm a Scarlet boy. If I were to get or sorry, a Violet boy, if I were to get these games, I would definitely go Violet because the the Violet bike is S tier. His battle form is A tier, so that kind of wins out for me. His battle form, though, C tier. Pretty lame. Uh, his ride form, also C tier. So this is how it would rank for me. Scarlet just, uh, sorry, Violet. Violet just barely beats out Scarlet, in my opinion, overall. But it's really close. But the issue is, if you go Scarlet, you also get the Tauros, right? The red Tauros. So this is a tough decision. If I, were, if I were to buy these games, I might actually end up going Scarlet, which is kind of hurts me because I thought I, I thought I would for sure go Violet because I love Violet as a color much more. Now, we move on to Tinka Tinka Dinga Dinga Donker. This Pokemon, very, very cool. Very, very cool. Tinka 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 Dinker Donker. Let's go ahead and rank them appropriately. Very Poppy-like, if you're, if you're familiar with League of Legends. Very, very Poppy-esque. This thing is S tier. This thing is B tier. And then the first one is also S tier. Really cool Pokemon, in my opinion. I really like the evolution line. I love, it's very steel, which is insane because it's like the most insane typing in all of Pokemon, right? So I kind of, I love that, but I hate that. I don't like seeing, I don't know, fuck strong Pokemon, right? Hipster moment, right? Okay, let's go ahead and take these guys. Uh, this guy, do, 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 do. C tier. I don't like these guys. And this is a very hot take. A lot of people might hate me for this. I'm not a huge fan of these guys. This, I'll get this guy B tier. Um, ah, maybe they're both C. He's like the new, this is, the, so this is the new Bisharp evolution. I think this guy's not a Bisharp evolution, but he looks like a Bisharp evolution. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Bisharp. I think I underrate Bisharp, but I'm not a huge fan. Tentacle new form is super cringe. Tentacruel new form, not super cringe by any means. Um, he's probably B tier, but high B tier. I could actually see him pushing up to S or to A. He's pretty cool. Um, th wait, this is the new Bisharp evolution. I'm literally so bad at Pokemon. Why am I making a video about Pokemon? Okay. This is the new Bisharp evolution straight to D tier fucking ridiculous um you know what i'll give these guys some respect we'll move them to b tier um and then the, finally we have the new the new prime ape are you kidding me this is one of the most monkey brained pokemon i've ever seen in my entire life annihilate straight to s tier there we go that is my starlet and violet pokemon tier list all of them ranked if you guys want to do your own tier list i'll link this in the description below like this video if you enjoyed it dislike if you hate all of my opinions and takes let me know in the comments leave me an absolute thesis college level paper on why all of my decisions are incredibly stupid in the comments down below uh, subscribe to the channel for daily pokemon content i will see you guys later peace